This is what I would do if I had to start my vasectomy journey from scratch in 2023. Alright, first, I would assume the vasectomy is not reversible, and then I would decide, is a vasectomy for me or not? And this is because, you, um, basically, there are some things you can do pre-vasectomy that you can't do post-vasectomy to prepare yourself for life post-vasectomy. And so... If you assume that the vasectomy is not reversible, then you'll make sure to complete all these things that need to be completed in the case that it turns out to be true that your vasectomy is not reversible. So that's the first thing. And then I would decide, is it for me, yes or no? Number two, figure out the ways to minimize post-vasectomy pain syndrome. So this was my main goal when I got my vasectomy. It was actually, um, this is actually the main goal. So it was guarantee or close as possible to guarantee no chronic pain after the vasectomy. And I did it perfectly and that's the result that I got. And number three, interview urologists and see if they do a vasectomy in the way that minimizes PVPS. So you have to do a lot of research to even figure out like, what is a vasectomy? How's it done? There are different variations of a vasectomy. What are the different variations? Um, and how are each of them done? How does each of them affect the body? And a big one to prevent PVPS, when they snip it, you know, you got a top half and a bottom half of the vase. The bottom half is connected to your testicle. You actually want to leave that open, called an open-ended vasectomy. Some docs do it closed, and that like allows pressure to build up, which contributes to PVPS. So I make, I'll make, I would make sure to interview my urologist and make sure they do the open-ended vasectomy. Four, find the best place to freeze my sperm, U.S., also Mexico or Colombia. Um, but I would have to fly there. But I would definitely nail down the best place to do that. And then five, I would get the vasectomy done, get it out of the way, move on to the next, next stage of my life. And have you considered a vasectomy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.